Have you ever flushed a bug down the toilet? I was just like that bug. I was literally powerless to move myself in the water. But let me put this in context. In this video, I travel a long, long way just to catch one kind of small fish and almost lose all my gear in the process. I live in Bali, and a friend of mine lives one island over in a place called Lombok. That's where we're fishing. So I loaded my gear onto my motorbike and drove an hour and a half in the pouring rain to catch a ferry. At 7 the next morning, it was finally time to go fishing. And this was our ride. I was super excited to hopefully find some big fish, but it soon became apparent that there weren't that many fish around. Other than this blue trevally that my buddy almost caught, there wasn't much to see. Okay, let's fast forward to the end of a long, fishless, 8 hour day. This is my last dive before heading back to shore. We're diving at this giant rock, which is largely underwater, and the current had just picked up. By current, I'm not referring to when the water in the ocean pushes you along gently. I'm talking about full on power. Holy shit! That is the strongest current I've ever seen in my life. And at around 40 feet deep, while drifting in the current, this giant trevally swam right up to me. The fish was fighting hard, and the current was roaring, and I was deeper than I wanted to be. And if the fish got tangled on one of these rocks, there's no way that I'd see that fish or my spear ever again. So 100% of my focus was on keeping that fish away from the rocks, and because of that, I forgot to keep track of my float line, and it wrapped itself around this rock. That line is attached to my spear, and my spear is attached to the fish, and there's no way in the world that I could fight the current to untangle it from the rock. So I made a quick decision and cut the line. If I didn't cut it, the fish would have swam down to deeper water where it's too dangerous to even attempt to retrieve it. You'll see why in a minute. It is risky to cut the line to your spear like this. That fish was still very much alive and it could easily squirm out of my grip with just one thrust of its tail, but I had to risk it. Luckily, the fish stopped fighting and we got it on the boat. Now it's time to deal with the float that's still tangled. So the boat dropped me off up current. The plan was to try to drift past the rock and untangle the line. But it was impossible. Even though the line was only tangled in a few feet of water, it made absolutely no difference whether or not I kicked my legs. The current just swept me along past the rock as if I were a twig. So we devised a new plan, to tie the float to a rope on the boat and try to pull it up current using the engines. This eventually worked, and finally we put the poor fish out of its misery and headed home. It's kind of funny how much less efficient this is than going to the grocery store to buy fish. I spent almost 15 hours of traveling, two nights in a hotel, and eight hours of diving in the ocean just to catch this one fish. And we almost didn't even catch that one. But if it were easy, it wouldn't be nearly as fun. And that's probably why no one high-fives each other when they find fish for sale in Whole Foods. 